What's up everyone? This is Trey Dell, and in this video, I am doing another card appreciation, and this time it's on the beautiful, the famous, the shoujo magician girl, magical girl, whatever herself, Dark Magician Girl, which is the apprentice of Dark Magician. Uh, there's a lot said about her. She's super cool, super well liked, and I wish we actually got more artworks, you know? Like when I think about the Dark Magician and Blue Eyes, they have a lot of artworks and so does kind of like Red Eyes, but Dark Magician Girl, you know, it's, it's Dark Magician Girl. She's iconic in her own sense and in the fact that like she has her own Figma figure and her own Pop Funko, which I own. Um, they're just in my collection. But yeah, and you know, there's more versions of it, but you know, these are the main artworks of her. Sadly, we do not have this in the TCG, but yeah, it's cool. I guess let's start it off with the oh, the first one. This I wish I had this in secret. I probably will eventually try to do that, but this is the uh, Dark Magician Girl card that Yugi plays in the anime. And this is uh, maybe one that a lot of people like got, you know? like if they tr Getting the secret rare one is hard enough in, I believe, Magician's Force. And when they re this was like the first real reprint and I remember these Rise of Destiny ones were like flying off shelves uh, because they were good. There's some good stuff, but I got Dark Magician Girl. I was really happy. Uh, and I've, this is like the same one. I, I kept it in like really nice condition and uh, it's just iconic. You know, it's, it's just a zoom in on her upper body. Uh, obviously in the English, we, uh, or they edited her her cleavage and all that stuff but it's it's cool man children's card game i get it when we live in america i get it but uh yeah she's just kind of like standing there now this is my favorite artwork of the dark magician girl this one right here uh the tin one and that's because uh when i was young i actually got the yugi structure deck the japanese one and this is the artwork of the dark magician that came with it so I always really like this card, this artwork. This is like the first Dark Magician Girl card I got in that in that one. I believe it was super rare. Uh, correct me if I'm mistaken. Uh, but yeah, I mean, and yeah, talk about the Dark Magician Girl stats. I should right dark level six, spellcaster, increases attack by three hundred for each Dark Magician, or and it's like and or you know what I'm saying, Magician of Black Chaos in either player's graveyard, two thousand seventeen. Really cool card. I like the hearts and everything. It just, I mean, you know, the Magician Circle is iconic itself, but I thought that was a cool difference, you know? It had hearts. Then this one came out, and I remember pulling this. Like, I remember at the time, uh, I was dating this one girl, and she didn't want me to buy cards anymore, but I was like, no, I'm going to Target. The Yugi, uh, the Duelist Pack Yugi just came out. I got to do it, you know, I got to buy cards and I was able to get this and Mirror Force. So, you know, sometimes guys just trust your instincts, uh, but you know, don't waste all your money. Do it with how you want to. But this Dark Magician Girl, girl I thought it was like the super cutest one because it had the circle and she was kind of like, like the uh, Dark Magician, you know, like hand on his hat and whatnot. So it's like a tribute, I feel like, to the Dark Magician. So I always thought this was super cute, just like. You know, <laughs> what is that called? Like referencing her master. And then this, I guess, would be like, it'd be more like this. <laughs> but this is the anniversary one, the one that we never got here because the creator, if I can see his name, Kazuki, Kazuki Takahashi. Um, he didn't want to, he didn't want this edited. He wanted to keep her cleavage in. So you can kind of see the line. I mean, it's not even that bad. And how weird it looks without. I mean, there it's without. It looks like she, her chest is super flat and it looks weird. Um, uh, not too bad, but still <laughs> not not the dark. Like this, like this, it's cool, you know. The lines, I don't think they're bad, but this one is super cute. I like the, the colors that pop uh, in front of the yellow. It's a very plain background the yellow but the colors in front of it the blue pink this aesthetic just really pops and uh yeah wish we got it i understand why we don't it's cool 
But then we also have this one, which is like the latest one from the movie pack. And I think this one is just super cute too. I think her eyes are a little too big, but the heart is cool. I mean, I'm trying to get it like focused, but the, the foiling on this just, you see too many colors. Where, I mean, they show legs here, here, and here. That's like the only one that doesn't show her legs. But um, I like how she's pointing it. It just looks cool. It's, it's just a different take. I do like this one. Um, but I would have to say that this is my favorite. Then I'd go here, here. I mean, all right, maybe maybe I'll drop this one down. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What, what, you, what do you guys like? Tell me what you guys, which Dark Magician Girl artwork is your favorite. Uh, but other than just, you know, these main five that I believe are the, the only artworks. I mean, there's like an international anime artwork and stuff. There's there's other card depictions of her, like in these those dice games and the uh, dungeon dice monsters and whatnot. But, you know, in the, in the actual card game, these are it. But she's got different variations. Like Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, where she's wearing armor. And I think that's so cool. I still don't know why they're like dragon types. But, you know, it's so cool. It's like she's like a, a paladin or a wyvern writer or whatever. It's it's cool. It's like RPG elements. So, and I liked that a lot. I, ha I remember getting this in Secret Rare and then it wasn't even that good. But then all of a sudden it became expensive and I sold it. And then they said, oh, reprints are happening. And I was so happy. And then, yeah, got this card. Um, put this over here. We have the Magi Magi Magician Girl, which is like a promotional art that they made its own Xyz monster. So sadly, this isn't over here either. These two would have been so cool in like the collection. Um, so she's really cool. She she can go into Ebon Illusion Magician if you need her to, and she's got two cool effects. I believe it's like this banish a card from your hand or something like that to take control of a monster or special summon from your opponent's graveyard. Um, and you also have to uh, detach a material, something like that. Then, lately, she got a retrained version, which is the Apprentice Illusion Magician, which is a staple in, like, Dark Magician decks. You can run her if you want, but this, I believe, is, like, a staple nowadays. It's just so good and has Dark Magician in the title, or in her, in her card text. And that's Mana, basically, the Egyptian form of her. And she's so cool enough that she even got her own attack card. <laughs> the Dark Burning Attack, which I remember, it's like a right, what, lightning vortex, if anything. This all face up monsters or punk controls if you control a Dark Magician Girl. So yeah, like a lightning vortex. So that's really cool. I remember when I first got in Japanese, I didn't know anything about her. I called her like Light Magician Girl and I was like Light Magic Attack because like, it, you know, reminded me of Dark Magician. Then watch the anime. See the Arcana, the very icon iconic Arcana match, and uh, yeah, Dark Magician Girl, super cool. I loved having the Figma, I loved having the Pop. Um, so yeah, let me know which artwork you like the most. Like I said, I, I gotta go this one, then this one, and then I guess these three. It's a toss-up here and there, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.